All right, guys. So here it is. New blower. It's a steel. It's the BG55. And the reason why I chose this one is because uh, it was 140 bucks. All we use it for is little backyard patios. Uh, we don't use it for anything big. We use the backpack blower for all the uh, driveways, the sidewalks, and everything like that. So most of the stuff I do, it's just little bitty backyard patios that we use this, this for. So uh, I think the BG86 was like 240. So I saved myself 100 bucks. Uh, maybe I should have got that one. I don't know, but we'll see. I went with this one because it was cheap, and I don't have a whole lot of money to spend on extra stuff right now, and we don't really use it for any big areas. So that's why I chose the BG55, and I think most of you guys know, know that it was going to be a steel. Ooh, they've already gassed it up for me. Hell yeah. I wonder if they started it because I want to be the first one. Let's see how she sounds. Give a couple pumps, a couple primes. Alright guys, so this is a property you guys see a lot. This is one of my favorite ones to mow. Uh, it's wide open, it's kind of big. Uh, for the most part it's green, it's got some brown patches, but uh, it just it looks it looks really good when we're done with it. That's why we like mowing it. Uh, stripes look really, really good on this yard. Uh, I really don't think the camera does it justice sometimes. But all in all, it's just a fun yard to mow, big and uh, looks good. I want to talk a little bit about the blower. Uh, like, a, like I said, I bought the BG55. And uh, at that point when I made that video, that was, the, uh, that was the first time I'd used it. And that patio that you guys see there, that's about as big as it gets for blowing off of that blower. Uh, we just don't need it for anything bigger than that. And we use it for backyards. And uh, since we do a lot of properties that are kind of lined up, uh, you know, we usually have just one guy uh, go back in the backyards with the, with the handheld blower and get all the backs while the guy, other guy is getting the fronts with the backpack blower. Uh, so it works pretty good. And I was a little afraid that it was going to be really underpowered because I, I had the BG86 before and uh, I liked it a lot before I dropped it off the back of my truck. But uh, like I said, I was really worried that it was going to be underpowered. But after using it all week and uh, you know, we even did some driveways with it just to kind of play around with it. Uh, I really like it. I think it's a good blower. Oh, looks like my, my GoPro just fell off. <laughs> ah, a little nice view of the sky there. Let's put that thing back on there. I remember now. I forgot all about that. It's a good thing I didn't run over it. That would have sucked. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Oh, there it goes again. I remember now. And then I just kind of... I put it up. I think I... Ah, get a little side view there. Yeah, I didn't remember what I did there. I thought I picked it up and put it away, but I guess not. But, you know, it's kind of it's kind of funny because when you're... When you, when you film a lot, you forget what, what footage you have and you forget what's happened. And uh, I like to go back and narrate over it just so, you know, it gives it some kind of substance. But, uh... Yeah, I forgot all about that. That's pretty funny. Actually, that little uh, that little view there is not too bad. I'm trying to find a way to get the GoPro to hang off of off the uh, box a little bit more. That way, you guys don't see that much of me, and you can get more of the yard. Uh, but we're gonna play around with different stuff here in the future. Alright guys, I wanted to show you guys something real quick. This is what happens when you 
don't dump the grass out of the hopper and you leave it in there all weekend long okay so my hopper and my walker was full I forgot to dump it and it sat in there all weekend long and it stinks horrible but check it out It formed to the shape of the box. That is the little shoot. That's the shoot that comes up and blows it out right there. Yeah, it's kind of cool. But that thing is a, like a big sheet. So, note to self do not forget to dump grass. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Tuesday around 2 p.m. Uh, we shot some video yesterday, didn't really talk very much, kind of in a hurry. Uh, today we're doing pretty good and, uh, you know, getting a lot done. We got one more big property to do. Uh, it takes us about an hour and a half, hour, 45 minutes to get that done. So we'll probably be done around 4.30 or so. Uh, and then we'll be good to go. So anyway, let's see what I've been listening to. The other two boys didn't bring their headphones today, so they're not listening to nothing, so it's on them. All right, the song I was on, Jason Aldean. My phone's been acting up. Ooh. Sorry, probably get copyright for that. Uh, boys to men. For all you young guys out there that don't know who Boys to Men is, if you want to find a romantic song for your girlfriend, check out that group. One of my favorite Eminem songs right there. That song will get you going. Yep, Leanne Rhymes. Can't fight the feeling. That's a good movie. Janet Jackson, there's another good song. Let's do one more. Flow Rider. So that's what I'm jamming to right now. It's a pretty good mixture, I think. And uh, it's been a pretty good day so far. Pretty good week. The grass is green. Got a lot of rain over the weekend. It rained uh, like, uh, what, three days out of four, a little bit. Two days were pretty heavy. And uh, grass is green. Stripes are looking great. Uh, we haven't been filming too much, but uh, you know, we'll uh, we'll wait until we're kind of we know we're gonna get everything done, and we'll we'll put some we'll put some uh, some mowing together for you. Anyway, the boys are blowing off, so I'm chilling out in the truck right now. Just got done doing the uh, five that you guys seen last week, and uh, this time, like I said, we like to mix it up. You know, this time I I weed eated uh, the whole thing. Uh, Hunter did the walker, and Zach did the X mark in the back. So. Uh, and then when Hunter got done with the walker, he edged it. So it was right about the time I got done weed eating. So worked out pretty good. We've probably been here about 35, 40 minutes and we're, uh, they're blowing off. Probably got another five minutes or so. So right about 45 minutes, I would say. Not too shabby. So let's take a look. Let's take a quick look real quick. I know you guys have seen this property, but uh, what else we got to do? That grass is looking good I think next week we'll uh, I'm gonna change up the stripe pattern I'm gonna go up and down basically just make them straight towards the street down each house and uh, that looks pretty good here especially when you're driving by we'll do a drive-by next week let you guys see it I think it looks pretty cool so Anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys' grass is green. Hope it's not too wet to mow. I watched a couple videos yesterday where uh, guys were talking about how wet it is down the south, Atlanta, and those kind of places. So, 
Uh, hopefully that's not the case for you guys. Hope you hope you're uh, hope you're doing well. I really do. Hey guys, it's uh, Tuesday. It's about 5 p.m. We're running a little late today. <laughs> we're gonna do some night mowing today. We're, uh, we're gonna work the uh, the graveyard shift. Got a uh, got us a couple flashlights. We're gonna use those. I brought my uh, my headlamp. Yeah, we've actually got a lot done in the last two days. Think about it. I think we're ahead of schedule. Oh, I think we are too. The only thing left is chapel. And you keep Derby. rushing like we're getting nothing done. We're well, hey, definitely man. ahead of schedule. I'm sorry. You know, this time of year, you never know. It might rain on Thursday. We might get rained down. It might. All right, guys. So here's another property that we do. Uh, this bank right here is actually really steep. Uh, the camera really doesn't do it very, very much justice, but it is steep. I have seen mowers in there. I've seen a walker in there and I've seen a hustler in there. Uh, you know, any kind of sit down, uh, zero turn mower, man, it's just really hard to stay up there without sliding. Especially if you're mowing early in the morning, there might be some dew on the grass, makes it a little bit wet, a little bit slippery. But with this F X mark, and I don't know if it's uh, just this mower, I'm pretty sure it's probably all walk behinds. Uh, but this is the only walk behind that I've ever used or owned. So, uh, you know, like I said, I think it's just a walk behind thing. I, maybe it's just a, uh, they're more balanced. Uh, maybe the weight is distributed, distributed better. I don't say that word very well, but, uh, you know, we just, we don't, we don't have a problem, uh, mowing the bank with this mower. We just don't. And, uh, we have another one that we do that has like a retaining wall that is actually steeper than this one and it just it doesn't skip a beat it's no big deal with this mower and uh you know that's one of the reasons why i bought it because i knew this mower could handle this bank and another bank that we do and uh you know i just knew it could because i i'd used that one this mower here before and so that's why i wanted one for my business because i knew what it could do and uh, I'm really glad I bought it. everybody it's Zach uh, notice the uh, X mark was turning a little funny look down and I noticed the left tire was flat so I come over to the truck put some air in it started hearing a hissing noise rolled the tire around found the spot I don't know if you can see it right there just that little little bitty cut is causing all this trouble so I'm gonna go ahead and patch it we have our patch kit right here so We'll, uh, we'll go through that real quick. I'm sure you'll make a good video out of it. multi-tool what's going on oh you know had a fatality puncture, puncture wound flat tire huh yeah did you have to plug it yeah got the uh i see plug it. Kit out of the truck here yeah that's a beautiful looking plug that yeah. looks like a professional. I do what I do. Sure's a good thing we had uh, plugs in an air tank. All right, guys. It's Friday afternoon. We're getting ready to start this one. I went and bid on a couple uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, mowed it a couple weeks ago, but this will be the first time we'll have it on camera. 
And I honestly think we can probably get in and out of here in less than 10 minutes. Fully. Mowed, trimmed, edged, blown off, out of here. I think we need to start the timer. From, in the, from out of the truck, back in the truck. How long will it take? 12 minutes. And I do have to mow this one with the walker because our X mark is down. It is out of commission. And uh, I'll explain that later. It's kind of my fault. Ready? You starting the timer? Yeah, starting. As soon as you're ready. Are you ready? Son, I was born ready. Okay. Woo. Ready, set, go. go. Come on, Brian. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And stop. What is it? Eight Ooh. minutes, 14 Ooh. seconds. Yeah. Here's what's funny about that. Hold on, let me get the camera situated. All right. Here's what's funny about that. I was in such a big hurry, and I think we did a really good job. I took out uh, this tree over here. Uh, it's a little like the like the grass slopes up on the tree like the dirt does and I hit it the deck kind of maybe took out a little piece of Anyway, but I did this uh, What geek to freak calls the boulevard right there yeah. and I did that and I didn't I forgot that I had hadn't mowed the front yard yet So I picked up the camera. And I was like headed to the backyard. and I was like I ain't even done the front yet <laughs> <laughs> Did your one little strip and you were ready to roll. I know. Out. I was like, oh, I'm done. Yeah, so. Well, it's good, guys. That was fun. Yeah. It's good times.
right, just wanted to show you guys a little bit. This is in my hometown. Uh, this is actually a neighborhood that I just, I didn't even really know was here uh, until a few weeks ago when I bid on this house. And uh, this, is a, this is an area I'm gonna try to target a lot next year. I'm gonna try to target my hometown next year with try to run my second crew out of here. Uh, if I can get enough enough work in, uh, in my little city, then uh, hopefully, hopefully I can run a second crew. Sorry, it's hard to drive and hold a camera. But, uh, you know, there's some pretty nice houses in here. Got some pretty big lots. Uh, <coughs> so that's kind of the plan. I like this one right in front of us with it. I like that one right there. That's a nice house. All right, guys, I'm at my last property of the day, or the week, I should say. And uh, this week gone by pretty well. Not too bad. Typical week. Had a couple things go wrong. Uh, this morning, my, uh, my X mark stopped running. It didn't stop running, it stopped running well. Uh, and uh i was i was in the middle of cutting the front yard and just it just the power just kind of got sucked out of it so we're gonna have to look at it uh probably do a compression test i think monday we're gonna dive into it and uh see what we can figure out uh you know the good thing about the two guys you know hunter and zach uh like i've said i've mentioned it before those two are gearheads they they know a lot about engines especially small engines and uh, I don't know that much about them, so it's good to have those guys around that can kind of show me and teach me a few things. So uh, anyway, we're gonna dive into that. Uh, they both agree, they both think that it's the uh, piston rings uh, are bad. So uh, it's burning oil, it's got white smoke coming out of the exhaust, uh, constant puff of white smoke and uh, loss of power. So. We're going to start with the uh, piston rings, and uh, that's going to be new for me. I've never, I've never dove that deep into an engine before, so I'm going to, if I remember, I'm going to get it on camera. Sometimes when we have projects like that, like last year, we uh, had to take the engine out of my old Walker and replace the starter, and uh, I had every intention of recording it and making a video on it, and I just, I forgot. You know, I, I get excited about that kind of stuff. It's stuff that I just haven't had the opportunity to learn and haven't, uh, just haven't had an opportunity to do. But I, I love working on stuff. I love working on small engines. So I'm, I'm actually pretty excited to learn, learn something. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can figure it out and get it back running, running right without having to put it in the shop. So anyway, like I said, guys, uh, another week. You know, a few problems, not that bad. Uh, the mower is kind of a big problem, but we're gonna deal with it on Monday, and hopefully we can get it, get it running good. So, hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.